Now, you're referring to the Minimum Genome Project and also synthetic, um, synthetic life. When you talk about, now, the synthetic biology is just small, small elements, little, yeah. little, little bits of gene function that, yeah. that's, that, that, that do a particular thing. You're talking about an entire organism. Yeah, synthetic genomics is a, uh, either a subset of synthetic biology or synthetic biology is a subset of that. It's not clear, depending on who you're talking to. But we're dealing with making the entire genome out of starting with the digital code in the computer. In fact, we just finished designing three different versions of a minimal genome that we're about to do the transplants and find out if they work. It's the first time we've designed a, an entire genome in the computer, uh, but it's hard to do because there's still a lot of biology that's unknown. So what you're talking about is designing something in the computer, uh, then synthesizing it in DNA, then injecting the DNA into a, 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 an empty cell. A well, it's actually not empty. It's a recipient cell what happens as soon as you put the new DNA in the cell, within seconds it starts to get red. You know, mm. it's just how our protein robots work. You know, they recognize the DNA, they bind to it, they start copying it, and the proteins start getting made. And some of the early proteins that get made are the restriction enzymes that my colleague Ham Smith discovered and got the Nobel Prize for in 1978. Mm. So he's 81 and still working at the bench mm. every day. It's, it, it's a, a great role model for young scientists. But anyway, these restriction enzymes recognize the chromosome in the cell as foreign DNA and chew it up. So we start with the body of one species and the genetic software of another. And within a very short period of time, the genetic software replaces everything in the cell with proteins made from its instructions. And in a short while, we have a new cell based on that new genetic software, and there's not a single molecule left from the original species. So you completely convert one species into another simply by replacing the software. You know, Mac users wish you could do that just by replacing the software and a <laughs> PC, right? Indeed. Uh, so then when you say boot up, that's, that's what you mean. Yes. Um, how close to that are we? Well, we can do it. We did it with the first synthetic chromosome that was largely modeled off uh, an existing chromosome. We made a number of changes. Uh, the team devised a whole new code so we can write the entire English language with numbers and punctuation. And we put in some quotations and things like that so to prove that it's synthetic. Um, we've made these three uh, chromosomes, um, and so if it works, people will know about it soon. Okay. <laughs> if it doesn't, you won't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go back to the bench and try another version. Uh, uh, well, we'll have another conversation on the need yeah. to publish negative results. That's but, right. But, but, <laughs> but, I, but I hear you. Um, no, you just keep